Shiny Shenron has a chance of 1 in 1000 and I was lucky enough to get it. So today we're going to be doing a showcase on Shiny Wish Dragon yeah! aka Shenron. Let's get into this boys. I'm super hyped. I can't believe I got this Shiny Shenron. I can try to pull him up on the screen here for you guys to see but it, it doesn't really work like that big rips and uh, i was also trying to get some trades but uh, the only good technique i was able to get was demigod so he's not doing insanely crazy right now the skill tree i have not maxed it out so this is going to be just base damage with demigod demigod adds 25 percent attack and reduces the spa by five percent so it does give him a little bit of a buff it's not exactly what i want obviously i would want uh, avatar on this guy or even glitch because he's a uh, single placement but all that aside i think that this is still a big w I also have Jojo oh, is the perfect partner for him. Exactly. Thank you, Kanojo. And so, uh, yeah, let's jump into an infinite. We'll show you guys what his attacks look like and how much it costs to upgrade each one. And let's do it. Let's go take a look. Just Sadly, I didn't get the shiny, so I still have just the green simple. The green simple boy. Sir, yes, I sir. can't wait until there's trading on this game so that I can just... Steel pressure units. got it until 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 uh, he he trades me. Are you hearing this? She gonna yeah. steal my units? What I'm is that? I'm gonna steal them. I'm gonna peer pressure you until you willingly decide to do it. All right, so we're gonna place down our Shenron right here so that you guys can see him in all his glory. He looks a little funky when you put him down in like this straight line, which is kind of funny. But once he's actually placed, look at that, bro. This guy looks so insane. And so if you guys didn't know, the shiny version is uh, white on the top instead of green, which is why he's got that white finish on him that you couldn't see earlier. And Kanojo will eventually, I guess, place down her regular guy. She's currently just watching us play. I, I have something to say. You have something to say? I have, okay, so I just got this unit and I have not used it because I didn't know if it was good or not. So I had not seen how it looks when you place them and that was hilarious. <laughs> it looks so funky. Base Wish Dragon without the shiny version is doing 1.17k on placement which is not too bad. This is level 1 and it has no, tr no techniques or anything like that. Uh, also, the shiny wish dragon gets a little slight damage buff compared to the non-shiny version. I don't know exactly how much the buff is, but I do know that it's uh, it's enough to put this guy into the meta category. They, I don't think that they will actually end up nerfing this guy because you don't get him from the code. You get the, the regular wish dragon from the code, but this guy, you only get him from Act 6 on Planet Namek, and uh, that's how you get the 1 in 1000 chance. So I have a feeling that... They, that if they do nerf one, it'll only be the non-shiny one. What do you think? Well, they, I think that they most likely will do that just because they also have another unit that is a code unit that is very strong. True, true. They can't have too many good uh, code units like Bobaka right here. Bobaka, top tier. And for some reason in the lobby, it says that he costs like over 2,000 to place, but it's actually just 1,500 when you're actually in the game. And his first upgrade is going to be 3,150 uh money so i'm gonna be keeping track of how much we have to spend in order to fully upgrade him all the way so you guys know how much he's doing but on placement with demigod at level 75 he's doing 8.82k on placement and the next upgrade to 24.2 then 54.8 then 108,000, and he still hasn't gotten any of the actual like new damages so it looks like he still has the same old v attack at the beginning which I guess it's not bad. Once he gets to his next attack, he's gonna be able to do a full AOE. And bro, the animation for that looks insane. I can't wait to I can't wait for you to see Ooh, it, Kanojo. I'm excited. I'm excited to see it. Look, mine actually cost 2650. Damn. As opposed to yours. That's interesting. So I guess it's just glitched out in the lobby, but for some reason this guy is cheaper. Maybe they will actually raise the price on him, like Yuta. Yuta's 3,000 to place, so that would make sense. Something else that I forgot to mention to you guys too is that when you get the shiny uh, Wish Dragon, you don't actually have to Evo here. He comes evolved already, which is like that's insane. Really? I, I, I thought I was gonna have to spend a bunch of spirit shards and a bunch of wish dra uh, wish ball or dragon balls, but I didn't have to do anything. It was great. He just came. He came fully set. All right, so ten thousand for the next upgrade. He's doing one hundred thirty-seven thousand now. Oh, and the next upgrade. Massive dragon beam. We get the massive dragon beam, and his like damage it. almost triples to three hundred thousand. 
That's kind of some BB damage. That damage, though. Pinocchio was able to max out her Wish Dragon already, which I'm trying to click on. And there it is, 13.6k, 20 range, and 6 seconds uh, SPA. It's not, it's not honestly the greatest. It's not worth Only it. Only four upgrades, too. Only four upgrades. Yeah, it's not super good. I mean, JoJo comes with only four upgrades too, but his third upgrade's actually kind of wild. Uh, I'll be showing him later on in this in the video. If you guys haven't seen JoJo, oh, I'll just uh, show you guys this quick upgrade real quick, just so you can see how big his damage increases. It's actually kind of wild. So you ready for the massive dragon beam? Uh huh. His range goes up a little bit too, to 25 and a 7.6 SPA. I kind of want to mine right now just to see yours. Look at that. Action. Look at that. Look at that attack. It looks so epic. I can't believe it. Bro, it's beautiful. It's like so cool. all the electricity in the world. Like, that is so dope. Get closer and, like, do it from the bottom. Look from the bottom. Oh, yeah. If you're in it, then it looks uh, even crazier, bro. This is so cool. No, but we're not even done upgrading yet. Uh, he's still got two more upgrades. We have just enough for the next upgrade. And it looks like at max damage, he's going to be doing 725 that is crazy. That is it doesn't a lot. double once, it doubles twice. 30,000 for the last upgrade. So in total, to get this guy from placements all the way to max upgrade, it's going to cost about $96,500, uh, which is, that's a lot of money. I mean, you definitely you definitely have to do this in an infinite because otherwise... Yeah, it seems like he's not really worth it for a story. Well, for story, he could be worth it because he is a hybrid, so he also hits air units. Oh, yeah, that big changes w. everything. Big, big Ws. So let me place Jojo O like down here. You can hardly even see him, but right here we'll play some Heavenly Chad, they call him in this game, lol. So, mine has Entrepreneur, I know, big rip, I've only gotten three Entrepreneurs, bro, the game hates me. But, he starts off at 38.8 thousand, and then, for literally, I already did the math, $7,100, including placement costs, he's already doing almost 500,000 damage. It's abs- it's, it's insane. That's crazy. It's insane, yeah, Jotaro O is just insane. If you guys have not How gotten him- get him? You get him from Act 6 of Star Mansion, Nightmare Mode. You have to keep grinding it, and I'm pretty sure that's also a 1 in 1,000 chance. I'm, maybe not. Maybe that one's 1 in 500 or something like that, but that, it's still pretty difficult. I want them. It's pretty good. If you guys haven't gotten either one yet, then definitely don't forget to use the codes. You can at least get the base version of the, sh of the Shenron, and um, I would definitely recommend using them, bro. They're really good units, especially if you're going to be running infinite. I can only imagine that once this guy's skill tree is maxed out, he's going to be doing at least like 1.2 or 1.3 million damage. And I haven't even gotten a good trait on him. I mean, granted, it's a mythical, but once I get a Celestial, Kanojo knows. The game's I hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, if you if you did, please drop a like for Shiny Shenron. This guy is a massive W. I hope you guys get as lucky as I was. And uh, if you want to see uh, another video, once this guy has fully maxed out skill tree for DPS, let me know down in the comments. I'll also be grinding rerolls to try to get some celestial traits. Also, don't forget to join our Discord. We've got a lot of people in there. Easy way to make some friends. And uh, we love you guys once again.